in lesson 21, students were given a conversion sheet. They need to know how to convert between units. So I wanted to give them a, another glance of the sheet that they would be looking at right now. And I want to go through a couple um, problems with you. Um, students will be given a reference sheet in class, okay? And they're also going to give you one in the New York State math test. So when you're completing these problems, I you don't have to memorize all the conversions, okay? So the first one I'm going to do for you, how many cups are in five quarts? As always, make a record of your work before using the calculator. I keep telling the children I would love them to use um, labels equal fractions. Here we're making a ratio and we're comparing cups to quarts. Okay. And I know that there are four cups in a quart, okay? And students would be able to look at that from their reference sheet. They're giving you this exact uh, original ratio. Now they have to figure out how many cups are in five quarts. They have to decipher where to put five here. And since five is a quart, they put it there. And then they solve this by doing equal fractions. 1 times 5 is 5 equivalent fractions. Whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. There are 20 cups in 5 quarts. Okay. Uh, let's try another one, just so I can give you another preview of what we're expecting the students to do. This is another quarts to cups one. Let me see if I can find you another one from our homework. Okay. I'll do the first one. 7 feet equals how many inches? Okay, so you're comparing feet to inches. And I would love the students to use equivalent fractions. From their re reference sheet, they're going to find that 1 foot is 12 inches. Okay, and now they need to know what 7 feet is going to be. So they're going to put 7 on the top. 1 times 7 is 7. 12 times 7, 84. The answer here is 84 inches. Okay, I'll do another one. Um, yards to feet. This will also be on their reference sheet, and students will learn that for every one yard, there's three feet. And they're wondering how many feet are in 100 yards. So we'll put the yards on the top. 1 times 100 is 100, 3 times 100 is 300. We're really just scaling up the original ratio. The answer here is 300 feet. And this is a summary of Lesson 21. I hope this helps you prepare. Have a great day.